basic structure of cathode rays oscilloscope CR. A cathode rays oscilloscope is an instrument used to study various waveforms and measure voltages of electronic devices. Oscilloscopes are used to observe the change of an electrical signal over time, such that voltage and time describe a shape, which is continuously graphed against a calibrated scale. Vertical axis to represent voltage. Horizontal axis to represent time. The diagram shows the basic structure of a cathode ray oscilloscope. It works on the principle of deflection of an electron beam by an electric field. Cathode rays oscilloscope consists of an evacuated glass tube, containing three main components, an electron gun, a deflection system and a fluorescent screen. The electron gun has many different components such as filament, cathode, control grid, focusing anode and accelerating anode. The filament is heated, when current flows through it. It is used to heat up the cathode. The cathode produces a highly concentrated electron beam. The control grid is placed, is placed between cathode and anodes. It is used to control the number of electrons hitting the screen, and intensity of the light spot produced. The focusing anode serves as a focusing lens, and by focusing and narrowing the electron beam, to form a fine light spot on the screen. The accelerating anode, is used to accelerate the electron beam to a high velocity. The deflection system is made up of two pairs of parallel plates, for example Y plates and X plates. Y plates are two horizontal plates, that can deflect the electron beam vertically. When no voltage applied, the bright spot is not deflected. When a direct current voltage is applied, the bright spot is deflected vertically. When an alternating current is applied, a vertical line is produced. X plates are two vertical plates, that can deflect the electron beam horizontally. When a direct current voltage is applied, the light spot will be deflected horizontally towards the plate at positive potential. When alternating current voltage is applied to both the X plates and the Y plates, the light spot will be oscillated vertically and horizontally as shown on the diagram. The fluorescent screen glows and forms a light spot, that can trace out a pattern as long as there are electrons hitting it. The inside of the screen is coated with phosphor or zinc sulfide, so that it fluoresces when hit by electrons. Thus, the kinetic energy of the electrons is converted into light energy. The inside surface of the rest of the tube is coated with a thin layer of graphite. This layer enables the electrons to leak back to the power supply after hitting the screen. The brightness of the light spot, can be controlled by adjusting the grid voltage. A sharp focus on the screen can be obtained by altering the anode voltage. Thank you for taking time to watch this.